Hey, what's up guys? In this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a sign-up screen for an imaginary outdoors app. You can see it right here. Um, as usual, it's nothing too complicated. It's just a simple example of what you can do with Adobe XD. So I guess we can start. We are going to remain on the same file and we'll just create a new artboard. We'll select the artboard tool here on the left and we're going to select an iPhone 6, 7 resolution. There you go, a new artboard has been created. We're going to move it down below the current um, mockup that we already made, so that it's not visible. So the first thing to do here is to create the gradient that lays in the background. We're going to change the field to a gradient right here. And we're going to use the colors that are already preset. Basically, it's the same colors that we're using in this design I've made and I just saved them here to be faster. Uh, so for the top color of the gradient we're going to use this dark green and also for the bottom one we're going to select this but then we're gonna change the color to a light blue, light green, something like this. That can work. And Next thing to do we need to get our image for our background and to do that we're going to go to this website called Pexels uh, it's a great resource to find uh, any kind of image you might want and need uh, they're all free to use without any restriction and the quality is really really good so we have this we have found this image here and we're going to right click and do copy image and we're going to move back to XD and we're gonna paste the image on our canvas as you can see it's right here and we're going to move it a little bit something like that and we need to change the opacity of the image so that we can see through uh, the gradient that we created previously to do that we click on the image and we select the bar here on the right and we tune it down to about 40 percent and that looks quite okay I think so the next thing we can do is to add the status bar on top of the screen as we have uh, an iPhone 6 or 7 resolution we're gonna have to create a status bar for iOS and we're going to select the UI kit that is already present in uh, Adobe XD Apple iOS and we're going to choose one screen that has a white uh, status bar we just select it Command C to copy, then we move back to our screen, Command V to paste, and we're going to position it perfectly centered in our artboard, as you can see. Okay, so now we're gonna create the title and subtitle for the screen. We're gonna use the text tool and we'll start writing the title. can see because it's in gray but we're gonna change the color right away and we're going to change the font to a pretty cool Google font which is available for free on the Google font website it's called Josephine Sands it's great for big headings like this one and we're going to increase the size to about 44 pixels we're going to center the text and change the weight to bold and we drag it in the center all right then we're going to duplicate this text by using command D we're going to drag it down and reduce the size to about half so 22 pixels we're going to change the weight to regular and we're going to change the text for our subtitles just a random text which fits the purpose that looks good so now we need to add the little canoe icon that we have on top of the title as you can see here and I got this canoe icon from 
an icon set called Smash Icons, which at the moment is not really available for Adobe XD. So to get this, we need to go to Photoshop and we need to basically get it from this set. And there's a nice little feature that has been added in the latest version of Photoshop 2017, which basically allows you to click on a layer, on a vector layer. And um, when you do right click, there's this function called copy SVG. And this basically copies this shape and it's basically exportable to other applications, in our case, Adobe XD. And just by doing copy and paste, you have it right here and it's usable. You can, as you can see, enlarge it or reduce it and it's great. So we're gonna change the color and drag it on top in the center. And maybe we can get all of this, oops. I forgot to lock this layer. We can get all these elements and move them down a little bit, like this. So now we're going to create the text boxes for our sign-up form. To do that, we're going to use the rectangle tool and we're going to click and drag to create a rectangle about this size. Maybe we can decrease a bit the height, something like this. We're going to remove the border and using the, the select tool, we're going to center it. And now we're going to create the text for this first field. Email address. Once again, we need to change the font, Josephine Sands. We're going to change the color using a dark gray, something along these lines. And it's way too big right now, so about 16 pixels should work. And we center it, leaving about 20 pixels from the left margin. Okay, so now we're going to create a group. We're going to group these two layers by clicking on Command G. And as you can see here, we have the first group being created. We're going to rename it to uh, text box one actually if we can make a little order we can tidy up a little bit our layers here status bar on top that looks a bit better okay so now we need to duplicate these fields as we have three in our signup forms. And to do that, we're going to use again Command D. And we're going to drag it down, leaving about 15 pixels between the two. And then we're going to duplicate the second one again and drag it down again, 50 pixels distance between each other. Now we're going to change the name of the fields. So the first one will be your name. The second we keep email address. And the third will be password. Okay, so we should clean up a little bit our layers panel here on the left. In fact, I see we have four text boxes, which is a mistake. There should be only three. Okay, so we can remove one. And we need to rename them. So the third one, second one, oops. And probably change the order a little bit. All right, so the last thing to do here is to create the button. The red one here we have at the bottom of the screen. So to do that, I'm going to duplicate again and rename right away so we don't get confused. I'm gonna drag it down. This time we're gonna leave about 30 pixels distance. 
we're going to get rid of the text change the color to red and probably make it a little bit bigger about 60 pixels and now we need to add this little shadow here at the bottom so to do that we're going to use the shadow property and put this down to zero have the y shadow to three increase the opacity to 100 percent and we need to use like a slightly darker red than the one we're already using something like this i think it works and now we just need to add the button text Uh, we're gonna use all caps sign up for free we're going to change the font again decrease the font size to about 13 obviously change the color to white and also the font weight bold and we're going to center it perfectly like this and that's it I think we need to fix the alignment a little bit grab all of these fields lower them down like this and I think we're done here we can have a look at the design on top and see how it looks yeah they're pretty similar so thank you so much guys for watching uh, i'm gonna see you on the next video in the meantime if you like what you're seeing please subscribe to the channel there's gonna be more videos coming and also let me know if you have any questions and just leave a comment i'll be happy to reply thank you so much see you on the next video